Hello, everyone. My guest today is Teo Topher. He's building a company called facelift-bbt.com. He's making impact on social or enabling you to have an impact on social in an easier way. He's a married father of four, world champion in rowing and an entrepreneur. Teo, you ready to take us to the top? Yes. Okay. So first off, the company website is facelift-bbt.com. What are you guys doing? What are you building? So actually, we have a um, social media management platform system. Um, it's comparable to Hootsuite and uh, Sprout Social. So we're in exactly the same space. And we're helping uh, companies and larger enterprises to create impact on social very easy. And how much are they paying you per month on average to use your technology? Uh, th that depends. Our starting, we're starting at uh, 1,500. It includes six users and it goes up to whatever, 50,000 a month. Okay. Do you have customers currently paying 50,000 a month? Yes, we have. Oh, incredible. So what's the backstory here? When did you launch? What year? Yes, we launched uh, exactly 10 years ago. We Last week, we had our 10th anniversary. Very cool. And uh, we started bootstrapped. Uh, we had actually no funding, nothing at all, nothing from our family. And we really started with just a bunch of uh, Photoshop files, which we showed our client and told them this is our product. We love that. So 2011, now you use Photoshop files, but how did you find that first customer? Where did you find them? Yeah, actually, uh, we were uh, we were uh, kind of doing um, Facebook um, uh, schoolings yeah, for enterprises. At that time in Germany, nobody didn't even know what Facebook was in 2011. And Facebook in Germany had about 5 million users, so not, not the same as today. And uh, we talked about engagement on Facebook a lot, and we found out that our clients actually don't have a clue, but they were they ordered at uh, agencies for like 50,000 bucks um, Facebook apps at that time. And uh, we thought, okay, there might be an easier way to save a lot of money. So and we invented one of the first leading uh, Facebook apps um, toolbox. So that's when we started 10 years this ago. This would have been Wildfire, Buddy Media, Vitru. Exactly, exactly. Walmart. This was our space. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, very, got it. Okay, very good. So now, did you start off with software in the space or you were selling custom plans, agency model? No, 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 nothing. No agency at all. We really started, we jump started with a product and only we were only scaling a product. I and, see. Yeah. And how many, today, how many customers are you serving today? Today, we have about 1,000 uh, clients. Yeah, okay. And where were, you exact, where were you exactly a year ago? Do you remember? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. How many customers were you at a year ago? Uh, a year ago, we had about 800. 800. Wow. So can I take 1,000 times 1,500 a month to back into your revenue? You're doing about 1.5 million a month? Mm, no, it's more. It's more. Okay. It's more. What, can you so share? Our, what actually, you're our today? AR is about 20, 25 million. Okay. And where were you a year ago? Million. Yeah. A year ago, it was about 20. And have you still bootstrapped? No, no, no. Oh, no. Taya, you, you, you <laughs> Sadly raised. not, sadly not, sadly not. How much have you raised? No, we have raised after, after three years, three and a half years, we have raised 15 million. One five? One five, yeah. And then we, then we grew up to about 10 million AR. What yeah, year was that, 10 million? 10 million was... 2017. Okay. Yeah. 2016, 2017. Yeah, and then we um, we got a strategic investor on board. It's a one of the largest German media groups called Dumont. Um, they were really active in, in three business uh, sections. One was media, the other business information. Then they started with acquiring our our company. They started the second uh, the third pillar. Um, marketing technology. So we were the anchor investment. And then we grew it up to this year, 25 million. Now you did the 20, the $15 million raise, I believe in 2014, correct? Yeah, right, right. 2014. Yeah. And what was the valuation you raised at back then? Do you remember? Oh uh, yeah, I remember, but I, I think I, I cannot tell. It's a little bit, it was, it, that was, it like, was, that was like, eight, that was like eight years ago. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I mean, it's a nice investor. I guess it was around, let's say, 40. 40. Okay, got it. Yeah. And and how have you, you know, most times once you take a little bit of venture capital, you have to take more every like 15 to 20 months, but you haven't. Why? No, no, we were actually managing the cash flow quite well. 
And uh, yeah, in Germany, maybe it's a different game. I mean, looking at our US competitors, they raised more and more and more and grew faster than we did, sure. But actually, we have a very good positioning in Europe and uh, we were ranked in Forrester quite well. So that was our decision not to raise more. And also from an from entrepreneur's perspective, we had a lot of shares when we sold our company. I mean, both of us, we had about... Uh, Wait, what do you mean when you sold your... Co- what do you mean when you sold the company? You know, we, 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 our strategic investor is, so to say, the, the owner now. And we moved up to the holding structure. So my co Oh, so that $15 million deal, they bought a major- more than 50% of the company. No, 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 no. That, that was the super angel investment we had in back in 2014. And then in 2017, we sold, we started selling the company to a strategic investor where we now have a share on the holding structure. So we, we swapped basically. Yeah. How much did the strategic investor invest or put in? Uh, that, that, that I can't tell. Okay. But and the valuation you- was much higher. So for us as, a, as an entrepreneur, we, we, did a, we did a very good uh, deal, mm-hmm. I have to say. Um, if, if my research team digs, wouldn't they be able to find that data? Don't you have to disclose that in Europe? Like government filing? Yeah. What about that? Don't, when you do deals like this in Europe, uh, if my re- what I'm asking is if my research team digged, couldn't they probably find how much that no, investor has put in? No, don't you have to, you don't have to disclose that in Europe? We, we don't have to disclose it. Why it's, is that? Uh, yeah, we don't have to disclose it. Uh, it's not a public listed company, so we're not, we don't have to disclose it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, hey, congratulations. So what's the advice there for other entrepreneurs that have built a great company, right? How can they also do what you did and sell a chunk of the business, but still staying? I mean, do you still have control of the business? Can you do what you want? I mean, nobody can, nobody can really do what you, what you want. Yeah? But still, I have to say we have a large chunk of control. We are now in the, in the group management. We, we are the group management. We are now owning, so to say, or we are part owners of, so to say, um, three other companies. And um, yeah, I mean, what, what, what was our, what, what is then advice for an entrepreneur? I mean, I think, I think from from a European or German perspective, we we did quite well, as I already said. And um, I mean, I, if if I look back, I think we sold too early, yeah. Or we, we could have raised more to a, to a fairly good valuation at that time, and um, back then in two thousand seventeen. And I think we have grown much. We could have grown faster with more um, VC money in, mm-hmm. inside. So, but at the end, we are very happy because actually we have, we have on a personal note, we, we have put enough behind the firewall, but, and, and now we still have control and, and can do entrepreneurial work on a, on a larger basis, which is very nice. Yeah? Is the I company, of, is the company profitable today? Uh, yes, it is. It is. That, that's yeah. great. How profitable? Um, I mean, we have, we have around, let's say 30, 30, um, Thirty uh, percent margin, so you can calculate it. Yeah, that's great. So about that would be about six million to the bottom line every year on uh, twenty a million. Bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, bit that's more. great. So what do you do with that capital? Do you pay it out as dividends to employees and you? Or? Uh, uh, kind of. Some goes to the investor, but now we're back in back on investment mode. So last year was a little bit like testing how profitable it can be. Mm-hmm. So now we are back in investing mode and uh, checking out what what possibilities we have in order to buy other companies. And, and we are growing quite good. We are now adopting, we are venturing or, or we are evaluating in terms of product-led growth a lot. Yeah, I think this is a very good concept for, for the startups. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we do a lot of stuff in there. How many folks are on the team? Uh, at Facelift, we're around 180 plus. We have an, an, an automated, let's say, automated agency, which are already uh, another 70. So in total, we are two, 250. 250 how, many plus. En- how many engineers? Engineers, about 60. And any quota carrying sales reps? Sorry, quota? Quota carrying sales reps? Uh, yes, 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 sure. How many? Uh, we have about 35 to 40. And, and one of the things entrepreneurs struggle with when they're building a sales team is how to set up the quota structure, right? So how do you incentivize your salespeople? 
Yeah, I mean, and uh, I mean, th this changes. Um, when we when we went for profitability, uh, for sure, it was different than it is now when we are back on ARR track. Um, f uh, they get a quota. The 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 the, 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 um, the the what we call the conversion team. They get a quota on the new biz sales, and then we have a success team which gets a quota on the renewal and net and zero is their our target. And um, yeah, it's about 10% of the, of, the, of the new biz sale, to be very concrete. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for the cu customer success team, it's a little bit more complicated as you have more factors uh, in giving them um, the, the, the share. Yeah. For your top performing account executives, what's their quota target this year? Pooh, oh, hard to say. I don't know. Okay. And talk to me, you talk, mentioned churn just now. What's your gross revenue churn over the past 12 months? The growth revenue churn, um, the churn was about uh, 20%. Yeah. Okay. And does your expansion make up that whole or no? Yeah. Yeah. We were net churn, net churn, not really zero, but let's say two, 3% below. So quite, quite okay. okay. So you've got about 20% churn, 17% expansion for about 97% net revenue retention. How do you get over 100%? Sorry? How do you get it over 100%? Cool. Um, Strategy-wise, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, I think what we are heading for is we are investing a lot in terms of product-led growth. I think, I think the best is that the customer um, or, or the product is selling itself to the to the customer, and we are really what, what we are doing now is to really if you put the product in the middle and the scalability of the product in terms for us it's user seats or profiles. And we are really optimizing our pro pro product towards this, these two um, uh, these two levers in order uh, in order that the client really upsells themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a, but still it's a, it's an interesting way. We are coming from a sales led approach, yeah, which is completely different. And um, and and there you do the deals on a different way. If you do one on one and you really talk to the client, negotiate a contract, and now if you try to do it more automatically, fully automatically, it's a different game. Yeah. And Taya, what are you paying in terms of fully weighted CAC to get a new customer paying fifteen hundred dollars per month? Yeah. So um, so the, you mean the customer acquisition costs? Yeah? Yes. So. Um, uh, it, it's hard to say if, if, if you compare it. I think our CAC to um, uh, CLV CAC ratio is about three, so which is very good, I think, in the industry compared to others. Um, so you, you can calculate. Huh, about well, what, what LTV do you, do, you, do you put on your customers? Uh, so so it's, if it's three, it's 4,500. 4,500 is the LTV? Uh, LTV CAC ratio is three, and if the yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I'm very confused. Yeah, I'm I'm too. I'm I'm too. What I, lifetime I, I value really, when a customer signs up for you for fifteen hundred dollars a month is what they're paying you? Ah, what? sorry, no, it's much larger. Uh, it, it's it's the uh, customer uh, twelve thirteen. Let me think. I, I wasn't sorry. I was miscalculating it. So it's fifteen times twelve times three. So yeah, I don't know the exact the exact number, but I know the CAC L, L, the CLV CAC ratio. CL, uh, CLV CAC ratio is about three. So that can get a lot of founders in trouble, though. You can have super healthy CAC to LTV ratios, but if your payback period is really long, you get stuck in a cash gap and it kills the business. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking about. Yeah, payback, yeah. Your payback period. What is your payback period? Yeah, I, I can't tell you. What do you spend to get a new customer? Uh, you don't to, know. To be honest, I, I can't tell you this, th these numbers right now. Huh? Interesting. I think that'll surprise people that you don't that, that that you don't know what that is off the top of your head, or at least a range. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I I, I don't have the numbers here at hand. Huh? I'm more on the product side. I see. So how, who who owns the metrics? Yeah, my my co-founder he, he owns the metrics in this term. So I'm more I'm I'm more on the process and and company side. I'm I see, I the, see, I see. Which customer are you most proud of? And 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 like I guess what's your the customer that pays you the most? Would they what do they pay you per year? 
Mm, as I already said, the, the highest um, the highest AR is about fifty thousand. Yeah, is that used, is that per month though or per year? Uh, sorry, that, that was per month. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, got it. So, so that, that's why I asked. So the, the highest yeah. the highest uh, ACV yeah. is six hundred thousand. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, uh, yeah. Actually, and why do they uh, why do they pay so much? To, I mean, what is the what is the utility? Yeah, it's it's the scope. It's the it's the actual scope of users. That's a client. It's from the insurance business. Yeah, they have a lot of um, agents uh, in the field, and everyone for them is using our product in terms of um, getting the social strategy right on the ground. And they have about thirty thousand users running live on the system. So, all which right. makes it which makes it very large. Yeah. Taya, thanks for sharing all this. It's great. Let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Oh, my favorite business book, From Good to Great. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, um, mm, good question. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, it's Tim Cook. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building facelift? Oh, Salesforce. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, 10, no, nine. That's good. And what's your situation? Married, single kids? Uh, four kids, married. Wow. How old are you? I'm 45. Last question. What's something you wish you knew when you were 20? Oh, if I were 20. Hmm. <laughs> Very good question. I have no answer on that. Guys, facelift growing from 20 uh, million in AR last year to $25 million in terms of run rate today and uh, up from 10 million back in 2017. Nice growth. They raised 15 million bucks and then started doing a big secondary in 2017. So they're now basically controlled by a larger partner, but they still are running the business, developing product. Their biggest customer pays $600,000 per year, serving over a thousand customers to date. They're profitable, take about 30% of the bottom line as they reinvest in growth, maybe future acquisitions. We'll see 250 people on the team, 60 engineers, 35 sales reps as they keep scaling about 97% net revenue retention. Tayoff, thanks for taking us to the top. Wow. Thank you. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.